world is so small till it ain't. I'm building up a wall till it breaks. My middle child. She's a lot of fun to be with. She has a wicked, wicked sense of humor. Used to be super, super shy. She's outgoing and lots of fun. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for Drew. So it's gonna be great. Oh, no, lots of fun. She's about my favorite child. She's great. She's honest. She's uh, a lot of flavor to the family. She gets along with everyone very well. She's gonna be good in life. Fun, sassy, unique, with a bright future ahead of her. Drew Martin, man, Drew Martin's the life of the party. Always fun, you're the best. She's a very kind young woman who's very hard work, unique sense of humor. She always came in with a smile, ready to go. Drew Martin is one of my all-time favorite kids. Her energy is infectious. She really helps inspire both her peers and also myself as a teacher. Uh, she's been an absolute joy to have. Wonderful young lady, grown up to be a nice young adult. When asked, who are you? I respond with Drew Martin. But behind that name comes a lot more than just 11 letters. I was born on December 30th, 2003 at McGee Women's Hospital to my parents, Carrie and Al Martin. I was born with a sister and then eventually came a big sister four years later. My house has always been full of love and I am so grateful that it has always been that way. Two words that say the most about me is middle child. I'm very talkative, friendly, always excited, very loud, and I swear too much. But I haven't always been like that. When I was younger, I was so shy, I would hide behind my mom's legs, and I would only let my grandma and dad and mom hold me when I was a baby. Over the past year, many things have been put into perspective for me. I appreciate so many little things like my family and my friends and the people I love. In May of my junior year, I was in a UTV accident. I was thrown out of the UTV and it came straight back down on my ankle. I had road rash on the whole left side of my body and I was in excruciating pain. I ended up breaking two parts of my pelvis and had a broken ankle. Although some days I wish this never happened, I took away many things from it that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. Life is very short and it can be taken away from you in the blink of an eye. Luckily I'm still here but now I don't stress over the little things and I don't worry about the things that I'm in control of. Being able to love and appreciate different things makes life enjoyable. Being able to accept people for who they are and finding the good in everyone, even when it can be challenging, makes a huge difference in everyday life. I'm excited to see what the future has in store for me, and I'm so happy I'm able to take many life lessons along the way with me.